something. Hello. And yeah, the internet is working. Great. Uh, hello and welcome to uh, Seven Inc. Episode 10. Uh, my name's Elnor and I will be the keeper of today. And these are my wonderful players. Once again, uh, it's not all of us. Uh, Tim is missing. He will join us hopefully in the next session. Regarding this session, we will just make sure that he catches up or I will just give him a good summary of what happens. But uh, for that, we have to start. But first, the recap of last session of episode 9. That session started in the hotel of Denver's near the train station where the group was planning to spend the evening and then uh, they were interrupted by a group of criminals that were wearing ski masks and wanted to attack the group. Uh, they defended themselves. The investigators managed to with a very questionable methods, uh, knowing how to behave in such a situation, uh, make the scene of crime look like uh, they were the victims and uh, didn't hurt anyone. Luckily, they had a, a beautiful lawyer uh, on their side that uh, seems to really know how to handle situations like that. After that, you saw, I think it was Dakota, who saw uh, Evelyn Nurse Homestead, the medium that you talked to in episode 8 about, yeah, everything going on, basically, and the backstory of her, uh, yeah, ancestors. Family, yeah. You saw Evelyn just in a train, uh, not in a train, in a bus that was from Just For Your Transports that was leaving and she was, the bus was full of people, yeah, like, like she, she was escorted basically. You also <clears throat> found out from, uh, did I call you Louis or? Louis, yeah. You found out from Louis that uh, judge Samuel Holt, the uh, policeman, detective, and judge uh, wanted to talk to you again, and you did that. You went to his house at the perfect timing because only a few seconds later and he wouldn't be alive because you found him with the gun loaded and pointing at his head where he was ready to... Pull the trigger. When you stopped him and confronted him, he admitted to finding out, or he admitted to uh, investigating recent events in Denver's, Massachusetts, and uh, everything. And the result of his research was a suicide, or attempted suicide. If you, if it weren't for you guys. And then he said, well, if you're that curious, you can take a look yourselves. And maybe then we can share a clip all together. And this is where we will start episode 10. And I will move all of you guys to something that I myself am very proud of. Uh, here you go. It might load a while because uh, it's a lot of uh, stuff. <laughs> You don't have to read everything, because I will explain to you the gist of it. Just as, yes, Samuel Holt will. He will explain to you guys how it all started with the man that you all know. He doesn't know that you all met him or know about him. Uh, Mr. Lloyd Green the CEO or former CEO of Just For You Transports, who died in the train accident in episode one. And basically for 
Samuel Holt that was one of the starting points of his investigation. Uh, this, you, you can see me pinging, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, that is the beautiful uh, Mr. Lloyd Green with uh, Just For You Transport's logo just above him. And after Mr. Lloyd's uh, death, uh, things, of course, continued. For example, down here, uh, where Henrietta Dove, the alleged crazy woman, was uh, put into the Davy Hobbs Asylum and uh, officially, in the newspaper, it was stated that she managed to escape the hospital. Also, uh, the newspaper, like, this is all uh, self-made, so everything kind of is important. Not kind of, everything is important. You can also see the date where, when the the, the death of Mr. Lloyd happened, uh, the title of the uh, newspaper, and the university that it is approved by. Oh no, I moved it. Wait, yeah. Okay, and then, so yeah, death of Mr. Lloyd, uh, the suspect of his death and how she disappeared and the continuation of Just For Your Transports because after Mr. Lloyd died, can you guys even read that if you like zoom in? Yeah, yeah. I can okay, read good. it. I already make a copy, so... <laughs> okay, yeah. So after Mr. Lloyd's death, the company uh, just changed the... CEO to Mr. Green's granddaughter, <laughs> uh, which is what's her name? Leah Green. Yeah. Leah Green. Yeah. It was uh, expected to become Mr. Green's stepson, who was uh, John Remus, but that for some reason didn't happen. It became the granddaughter. Okay. Then I will uh, move uh, to the down right. Uh, extra, extra, read all about it. Basically, an advertisement uh, for the all free TM uh, corporation that you guys have seen everywhere, basically. It's. Uh, I already compared it to Nestle because that's uh, pretty much where it is. Oh, I left in the address phone number because that's not that important, but yeah. Okay. Also, connections with uh, all free TM to the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where is it? Oh, yeah, to, just for your transports. Which is also why uh, Samuel Holt thought it's that important. Uh, he would also say, oh yeah, and upper right, of course, would like to hope, just a little uh, kind of sticker that you would find on, uh, in the street, on signs, on uh, traffic lights, just like advertisement for people that feel lost and maybe need someone and me maybe need uh, some support. I mean, that's the lawyers from the prison. Yep. They mentioned. That's the lawyers from the prison. And uh, just Samuel Holt would say, on the desk over there, there's even more information. But I think to understand what's happening, that could suffice, doesn't it? It took only one week to... CEO from the transports are, is killed, and after one week, the whole um, corporation is bought out from all free TM. Basically, it's not bought out. It's uh, they work together, partnership. Together, yeah, partnership. You all know what's happening there. Okay. Judge Samuel Holt would say. And all that I know is what is written and what my investigations can 
reach. I lack the involvement. I don't know much more about other groups. Another suspect of mine that I am not so sure about is the Quinque uh, University. Which is uh, also working. Wait, I'll, I'll just I'll just share it with you guys. Uh, Queen Cray University. Show to players. Show to everyone. That's also a lot of text, but basically, the Queen Cray University is. Uh, yeah, at the end, if you scroll down, you can see, in conclusion, Quinque University is a renowned institution that has been at the forefront of advancing the field of chemistry for over 200 years. With the pioneering spirit, dedication to safety, and unwavering commitment to scientific exploration, Quinque University has established itself as a leader in pushing the boundaries to knowledge and innovation in the realm of chemistry, leaving an uh, in the indeliable mark on the world of science and technology. Also, Quinque University being the uh, place that approves these newspapers and works together with guess which corporations. LTM and the transport for everyone? Yeah. Hmm. What a surprise. Interesting. Jeez. I feel like I need a spreadsheet about every corporation working together and which factions are actually involving. Okay. I also managed to find out that the alleged killer of Mr. Lloyd Green uh, Henrietta Dove, that she was a member of a cult. Oh, well, we can say that, that we agree with that. We can, can we basically open the information we had about the train accident? You can do what you like, yeah. I mean, you're talking to a guy that was about to kill himself, so you don't have much to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking about. I think we can just, when we all agree to that, we can say what happened in the train accident, what Mrs. Storff tried to do together with her uh, mm -hmm. compagnon, who then just jumped from the train. Okay, do you share everything? If uh, Dakota will ask, uh, Patrick will nod to him. It's okay yeah, to probably. release the information. At least, what happened in a train accident. That's kind of good information. And maybe even what actually actually happened with Miss Dolph, that she didn't ex escape, just more vanished from the room. Yeah, that's, I think, enough, is enough to give him more spirit to pursued his investigations give him hope to maybe find the true thing I mean if you all work together maybe exactly we need more hats to think because as he said he he doesn't know he doesn't have the field experience like he he lacks the information that you have and you lack the information that he has yeah, then, then we open up his uh, the information and give him. Okay. Them. Do you share everything? everything? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to say it. You can just say, "Yeah, we." Yes. Okay. So basically, okay. Samuel Holt would listen very carefully and then kind of smile, not a happy smile, kind of sad smile, and then he would just say. That makes sense. And he would point at the middle article of uh, that talks about just free transports and say, well, she escaped from the Davy Hobbs asylum. 
Davy Hobbs being a renowned graduate of the Quinkley University. <laughs> of course. He covered. Makes sense. I mean, you can't really say, if, oh no, what happened with Mrs. Dobbs? You just vanished from the room. You can't really wrote that down in a paper, newspaper, normally. I mean, I, I wouldn't think about, oh yeah, that's definitely true. She didn't just escape and uh, try to hide. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds legit. She just managed. Okay, cool. You're right, but I do work in <clears throat> uh, with the Davy Hobbs Asylum constantly, and our investigations are, let's say, hindered. He said that he is trying to involve every institution that is necessary and look into what actually happened but what I believe he is truly thinking is uh, that he is happy about this person disappearing it's kinda it seems useful to him what I don't quite understand is why these corporations are all working together now they have their roots hundreds of years ago, if you really dig for it. Yeah, you are right with that, but maybe something is coming up, some event which only takes decades to come by, so they're all working to a goal what's much, much bigger is what we maybe can comprehend currently. Because, like you said, it doesn't make really sense to work all together. Normally, they try to compete. But all that accidents happening around now, in that time, in that time frame, we are all together. And I would say there is something big happening and it will wrap up soon. So we need to be hurry. So we can actually, I don't know, we can actually stop it, but at least find the truth about all of that we are talking about the biggest logistics company in the world about the biggest trades company in the world the biggest uh, collection of good doers and human and animal right fighters that exist one of the universities that has the best reputation Ever. I'm a doctor, well, if, and we are six people. If there were anything we could do against these huge threats, what would that even be? We don't even know what they're doing. I give you that. They try to stop us multiple times. When you say that they are so big and invincible, why they why trying to stop us? Why not just laughing at us and looking it down to us? That would I don't want to sound evil or something, but I would be laughing to someone who would try to stop me when I actually know they can't. But it seems. We do have a threat to them, and when we are that threatening, like we, just some random people working together, I mean, we do something, and that something seems to threaten them enough to try to stop us. So, what I did you do? believe. investigated a little bit maybe more aggressive than passive like maybe you did we took in some events maybe the train accident where Lloyd Green just died we stopped the ritual there so 
what we did, they didn't like that. So then we won. What happens in there now? We talked a lot with other people, so. We were we in the train, we were yeah, in the train. asylum, uh, the we were at the bar, uh, the uh, attempted, ass attempted assassination happened. And we uh, that was uh, actually before the asylum. Yeah, but just we are li really lucky or unlucky, you can take that on note. We are always there when something big happens and we actually try to stop that or even stop it, what they're trying to achieve. I don't know if we can stop them, but I'm pretty sure we can at least try. make it really difficult for them. Hmm. He's right about that. Do you still want to uh, kill yourself? Maybe together we have the power to actually make it more difficult and maybe stop them. Okay. Last time. Last time, one of the corporations, one of these big corporations got hurt. It was this, and he uh, points at the article. Mr. Lloyd Green died. His killers or the ones that we can assume were the killers were from this cult from the Fae Father mm -hmm. cult as you explained yes. Um, yes. why did they attack him maybe they Maybe they are crazy maniacs that just wanted to hurt a rich, uh, powerful person, or uh, they understand what's happening. Maybe Louis Korean was. I mean, I can, but I don't know his. How was he as a man, but maybe he didn't like what's happening and tried to shut it off. Maybe he knew more than. We do actually know yet. But what maybe he did... the court wanted to shut it off. What? Yeah, exactly. He just, uh, just shut him off. So because mm. after one week, the corporation from the, oh, his corporation just worked together with the big TM, the biggest assholes corporation you can think of. Just a week. That's short. Probably what's, Lloyd what's, Green knew something. What's known about his granddaughter? She wasn't great uh, at, well, as he called it business, Lloyd Green. He gave a few official statements uh, to newspapers and uh, such, talking about how she's not fit for it. She's too young. She isn't capable of taking over the company. I mean, she's not even 20 years old. And, mir and miraculously, she has the shareholders on her side. Yeah, and they try to kill her. So even when she's too young for that, she still is a threat for the big corporation. Yeah, and that's why it was originally supposed to be <clears throat> John Remus, uh who was supposed to take over the company for at least a decade or two until uh, Leah was ready. But after Lloyd Green died, he he died on this on the train that was coming to this town. Mm. And investigations weren't going as smoothly as we planned. People got involved, uh, people from his company, Leah Green being one of them, and... We didn't really know how Mr. Lloyd died, or who is to blame, or what he even really had on him when he died. Because we 
we're assuming that he was maybe making or ha had a testimony on him making the uh, making John Remus the actual uh, one who was to inherit the company one day. But that's just speculation. Lawyers of the company got involved and we didn't have a say anymore. Do you think the <laughs> granddaughter uh, is behind this? I wasn't on the train. And I don't really know Mr. Green. I do know his daughter, uh, his granddaughter now. And from what I experienced, she isn't the... Uh, Most humble child. She didn't seem too phased about her grandfather being dead. Almost happy. Mm. And well, since her grandfather died, uh, just for your transports, just kept expanding you saw the riots happening you saw how they just ended and the company won she might be mr lloyd may have said that she's not fit for the job but she sure is expanding the, the company whether or not that's a good thing. Tell me, did anything change in their higher up echelon when she took over the company? I mean, they or are... Business partners let go? They focused way more on all free TM on the trademark they are now very strong partners even connecting with the <clears throat> with light to hope it's i feel like i'm missing something i don't understand why they're working together you say to prepare for something big but what why that's a question. That's a big question. What we're searching, because we can't some sort of thing we don't know. <clears throat> but the thing happened some hundred of years ago, like the same. Maybe we can. He should know what I mean. Like the, uh, what can we call it? The fusion from the two big corporations and the kind of sus um, often. Oh, the selling of the land and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I don't know. Has he ever talked about that? Don't know, but it's kind of the same situation. Like two corporations working together, even when they normally should be competitive together. Oh. Not together, but you need know mm -hmm. what I mean. And then one day after they're working together, making a deal what's actually not really beneficial for one of the other corporations, and then it's actually just one big corporation. Let's That's just say you like say that. that in character, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's in character. Mm -hmm. This, of course, yeah. more um, intelligent stuff and more stuff, eloquently stuff. and smart. Yes, and stuff. academic <laughs> and smart and stuff. <laughs> So, you're connecting it to the John Endicott case. Yes. Well, John Endicott bought the land and create uh, from Massachusetts, basically creating Massachusetts 
creating Miskonomous free charges that later turned into our free TM mm -hmm. hundreds of years ago. Now mm -hmm. they're working together. These three corporations, four corporations, three corporations in one big university. Anomaly, something like that. Do you happen? know any other organization? Do you know the 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 the, uh, the Fae Father cult you you told about? You told me about. Mm. And the Cal Chaosix. Wait. Chaosix. Quincree yes. University. Just for you transports. All free TM. With light to hope. Oh. I have a feeling something you figured out was not good. It's numbers. It's always numbers. We already know that seven is not good. We seven? Why lost seven? Someone. Did you ever tell John Endicott, uh, not John Endicott, uh, Samuel Holt about the seven? Actually not, we can include the information what we got from the man who got killed from our mm -hmm. lovely policeman who then as, uh, got in the back room. I would, some people would call karma, but I don't want to say that. <laughs> okay, so you tell Samuel Holt about the seven existences. Do you uh -huh. want to? If you did that, that'd be amazing, because then you'll see why. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> okay, anyone go ahead. We tell him about oh, this. Oh, Patrick will be like, uh, didn't the maniac uh, mention something about the uh, seven becoming one? Wh wh which seven? Could you could you elaborate? So we have. Uh, Work together, guys. <laughs> you can do it. Just for your transports, we have all three TM. Mm -hmm. We have the big university. The asylum. I mean, it's an asylum together with the university. Kinda. Yeah, yeah include them. Kinda. Then we have the Chaos Six. But w do do you say the seven words? Oh, the seven words. Because he doesn't know the yeah, he doesn't know the words. Action, chaos, limbo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we always say that. Turn nothing, something, movement, action, chaos, limbo. I tried this with Anagam. I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not with light to hope. It's with light to peace, of course. Sorry, the, the, the thing's wrong. It's with light to peace, not with light to hope. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's... Wait, I, I need my pen for this. I will just draw something uh, funny. Like funny? Uh... Samuel uh, Holt would uh, drive with his wheelchair closer to the wall and start drawing. You said the second 
said it starts with time. Then there's nothing. So the second number two is nothing. Yeah. A synonym to nothing is absence uh, or quiet or peace yeah. with light to peace. Three was something or everything or all of it. All free TM. Four was uh, movement. movement. Uh, yeah, movement. Or from one point to another, Transport. or transportation, or just for you Train. transports. Oh yeah, or the cooperation, of course. And the title of the newspaper. By the Quinkby University. That's known for its work in chemistry. Finding out how things react with each other. Action. Reaction, yeah. And then you talked about a group called Chaosics. I guess that one's yeah. the obvious one. Um, yeah, Chaosics. Not sure if time has its own thing, and I guess your friend, the policeman, uh, found out what seven is. You probably escape to that, <laughs> or when you can call the escape. I miss maybe the situation, like... Always there. The big event was happening. Yeah. It's always there. Well, I guess the others have been... dancing in front of our noses this whole time. Give us this information what we have. Well, the good part is... And the bad part, all of them originated in... Uh, I mean here, not in Denver's, but in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. The Quinque University is... Wait, do, you, do I have the map? I believe I have the map of Massachusetts here. I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, but the towns have either the universities or uh, main headquarters. In Arkham, uh, there's the main office building in, of all free TM, for example. And... Representatives of each of these groups we could find anywhere. But here they originated. In 1634. Now how do we stop them? <laughs> That's a good... <laughs> I mean, where is the location from the university, the old TM, the asylum? Can we have the map? Yeah, I will just like look maybe for a second. I'll pull it up. I'm sure I have it somewhere. Okay. 
I don't know if there is any connection to that, but maybe it's good to have. No, the there, there, there is. I, I just <laughs> don't know. I'll just Google it. <laughs> just don't oh. give it away. Poker face. Cthulhu. Uh, Massa Chu sets map. Oh my god, I wrote Massachusetts right. <laughs> that is so impressive. Respect. Thank really you. Really respect. Okay, text. Gotta download this. Oh no. Oh no. I... Okay, now. Just want to say, keep in mind, we are still awake. Never. You, you've been awake never. for like twenty-four hours, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, here. Can you see the map? Uh, I guess. Wait. Oh. Uh, oh no! Not drawing on it. I don't want to draw on it. I want to make it bigger. Uh, delete this and make this. Bigger. Okay. Okay. You can all see the map. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Back. Then I will, uh, or Samuel Holt will tell you where uh, shit is. Okay. So. The headquarters of With Light to Hope are in Salem. I... You can see that on the map, right? Salem. Yep. I think it's a uh, pretty on yeah, it's down. Yeah. Salem is down. Uh then all free TM. Uh, the main office building is located in Arkham. Uh -huh. The I th wait. I will make it map layer. I think so. Try it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. The next nice. one would be the uh, the head office of uh, Just for You Transports. <clears throat> which is located in uh, Gloucester or Gloucester. 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 For real? Mm -hmm. Gloucester? Gloucester. 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 Okay. One that sounds German. Sounds cool. like, sounds like sounds a Polish uh, dish or something. <laughs> Gloucester. And uh, the Quinky University is in Bolton. That is all I know. If there is something about the Chaosix, they're not a group that is well known. They're a group that is barely known, actually. I didn't really know about them. Did we found the um, origins from the uh, Faith Father code? The origins? You you went to the library once, I believe, and you did find a few things. Wait, I can show you. We actually. found the. Where is it? Oh yeah. No. But there, there is something about the favorite recall, right? That you guys saw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When it's founded, that was a family, a young family, and... Yeah. What now? We know our enemies. Uh, what we lack, we don't know their goals. Not not really. 
they do seem to to try and spread more and grow and prepare for something so i assume that's not good so we got to either make it difficult for them or stop them We probably couldn't do it alone. Let's be honest with ourselves. We can't search for help for any other organization. We're for people that uh, have somehow escaped death so far and one guy in a wheelchair. We're not really an army against the biggest corporations in the world. But as you said, you for some reason they struggle with you. Like I said, it is dumb for luck, or we actually are more capable of doing it than we are probably know. Where should we start? I think we should pick one and try to work on a plan against them. Going against everyone at the same time could be not that effective. No, not at all. We, uh, we work together all the time and it seems to working. Trying to do it alone, it's probably suicide. Also, like the, some events happening with us, then we try to go more aggressive against some cult members. I mean, he knows, I mean, I can tell what with me actually happens when I try to be more aggressive to the god. And that I see something. And I normally have my hold my, by my mind, so. I mean, I'm a doctor, I see shit. Do you tell that? <laughs> Same, bro. I remember what happened in the train with okay. me. <laughs> I can tell that I was in a, uh, in army as a field doctor, that I saw hor really horrible things and nothing can shake up my mind that easily. And I still kind of lost myself just because I was not like seeing something horrible or I did something horrible or someone did something horrible. No, you just be aggressive to their god or their faith to bear their try to put in. We need to be, be, be careful about that. And you, Patrick, said that on the train something happened. Yes. That sh sh shook you up. But the train... Like they're able to project some thoughts in your mind or... Fuck up your brain. I have no idea what really happened. Like you fall in a, a pool of dark water and you're just watching your body moving from a screen. And you're just screaming, trying to stop yourself, but you can't. And just watching yourself doing crazy stuff. Have you talked to me? Evelyn Nurse Homestead? Did we? Right after Arthur's disappearance, or? I think so. She was the girl who. Yeah, the medium. This got thought of a god. The, the, yeah, exactly, the medium. The girl was a comfy chair. Why did you ask? What did she talk with you about? Did she say anything about, about her? her? Okay. About her diary and her sister and the gods she can she can speak? Yeah, she can speak too. 
Yeah. I think she called even the, the seven. Yeah, let's look at the notes before I say something stupid. You're right, though, yeah. Hippie girl, homeless and new red symbols, shoulders are dope. And Rebecca, nurse, Homestead, back 66. 6060, Rebecca, nurse, died of her maid's tongue. Sell the huge poverty to John Endicott, Sam Holton, wheelchair, judge, recommend to talk to other nurse trainers. Yeah. I mean, we talked to her. And she talked, no, explained everything from the diary. Uh, Maybe I should show you something. <laughs> she showed you the diary of her ancestor. Yes. Maybe I should show you the diary of mine. Okay, sure. Rebecca, Nurse Homestead's best friend. Former best friend was Sarah Holton, yeah. my ancestor. And he would uh, drive his wheelchair to the, or move his wheelchair to the, uh, to a cupboard, open it with a key and pull out a very old uh, leather notebook and hand it to you guys. And I would read from it. Okay. Today, uh, 15th, uh, 7th of 1642. Today, Rebecca and I visited the, the Endicott Park. Even though she always says she doesn't like it, uh, she had a fairy tale time. We both did. Even with the old mayor Endicott, uh, even with old mayor Endicott, he couldn't ruin, we couldn't he couldn't ruin our mood my mother keeps telling me to not spend time with rebecca because of her weird clothes but i like her clothes i like rebecca uh, how are we going to stay best friends if i have to stay away from her we are friends and i am uh, mad at mother for talking bad about her at this point uh she was... Wait... Where is it? Here. Seven years old. Yeah. And da -da -da. Okay, the next... Entry, I will... I will... Uh, do this, by the way. Here we go. Next entry. The next entry is... 13 years later uh, I mean there are a couple ones but most of them aren't really readable anymore and the one 13 years later says uh, I write about my friendship with Rebecca a lot this diary turned more into our friendship book talking about that uh, I am worried about both the friendship and Rebecca herself he keeps talking to them not telling me what about, or, and whenever I do get to spend some time with her, she is so distant and hurt. Rebecca is hurt, I know that. She has been hurt for many years, but she never says why, only that she will figure it out. And then, <clears throat> five years later, now in a totally different font, she writes like her handwriting has changed fully why do i even keep trying i should have listened to mother to my friends to endicott rebecca is doing it again no she is still doing it she never stopped i told her to stop talking to them i told i warned her multiple times but she didn't listen she never listens i don't know what to do to help her she just won't listen to me I need to get help. I need to ask old man Endicott. I am sorry, Rebecca, but you aren't leaving 
me another choice. And wait. This is bad. I lost the le I lost I lost entries. Huh? What? Okay. Uh last thing that you can read the rest I will uh, explain because I still remember it is 12 years later 1672 uh, Sarah wrote today I found out I am pregnant and it didn't go well the pregnancy was very difficult that's uh, now I'm talking because I don't know where my stuff is uh, but yeah basically pregnancy went uh, bad and uh, it didn't fail but <clears throat> Sarah died okay but what is important <coughs> I mean everything's important but uh, if you compare the... I will just send you the uh, thingies. The entries. And match them to the time. If you have maybe lost the other ones. So this is Sarah's point from 1655. And this is... From the other point both from 6045 and judge samuel holton would also say um Sorry, this is this became so chaotic because there are so many different things. I don't think so. We can make a short pause so you can figure it out. Nah, it it should be okay. Okay. Okay, the one in the middle. I know it's stupid to even still use this thing, consider how it has been years since I wrote inside it. That is from. That is not from. Uh, Sarah Holt. Rebecca. That is from Rebecca. That is from the ancestor of uh, Evelyn Nurse Homestead. The chosen one from the seven. Just like now Rebecca was the chosen one from the seven. And Sarah was her best friend and was very worried about her and was telling her to stop talking to the seven. However, she didn't. Rebecca, Rebecca didn't stop talking to the seven. She never did. And the last entry of Rebecca was that she found out that Sarah sold her off to Endicott, basically. And she said that she will make Sarah pay and regret what she did. And that... Rebecca needs the seven and cannot uh, do without them. Essentially cursing the whole Holton bloodline. And yeah, Samuel Holton would say, I haven't read the diary for a while but what you talked about obviously made me think of it again these seven whatever they are aren't good and they don't belong here I mean, uh, 
something weird, some quotes. I mean, I'm normally, when you would say something like that one week ago, I wouldn't believe you at all. I mean, I can still believe it, but here we are. So they are definitely not good. They're now being used. Okay. I think if we keep building up our enemies without really working or knowing a way to stop them, we were not going to get anywhere. We should pursue them, get take action. Yeah. Well, I agree to that. I first of all, I would suggest that we stall the. That's a good idea. You. He, he looks around like his house. It's not small, but. It's not nice. And he says. You would be welcome to stay on the couch. Uh, but you can also, of course, leave and come back tomorrow. Or... No, no worry. I can think maybe I can look around, but I think we can all agree. We just stay there and sleep. Not only that, but the hotel got attacked. So it's kind of not safe there anymore. Okay. And we should stay together, I think. Make yourselves feel like home. I take the big couch and uh, laying on there. Okay. Instant sleep. Yeah, that's not difficult. You all, uh, <laughs> the ones that are missing hit points, uh, regain one. I don't know if you are. I think some of you are. Yep, yep, yep. For a good night's sleep, you also can eat a little bit. There is stuff in the house. Uh... Samuel Holder would also go to sleep somewhere in the house. Patrick will make sure the doors are locked. <clears throat> okay. You would see that Theodore uh, would have, uh, before going to bed, uh, went outside and had a phone call <clears throat> before coming back. And also oh, no. going to sleep. I mean, it's yeah. no surprise. <laughs> Good old Theodore. Good old Theodore. Okay. As you guys sleep, something happens. I will. Nothing surprising. There it is. But this time a bit different. It. Uh, happens in your heads or more precisely in your dreams you can all hear loud machines turning uh, very uh, quickly as you open your eyes and sit in a train you look outside the window and recognize the route. You're on the train uh, that you were on all together for the first time, or at least some of you, and are heading to Denver. You are very confused and look around, and it is not just, it doesn't just look like it, but it is the same train. You can see the big very big man of uh, Mr. Lloyd Green sitting there soon to stand up and fall to the ground dying on a heart attack shortly after you are you believe that you're reliving the same experience or just having a nightmare about the past but 
it turns out to be more than that. It feels like someone's showing this to you. And okay. you quickly realize the, the focus of this dream. It's not the same experience because now you're almost looking at it from someone else's perspective. From the perspective of uh, Henrietta and Ralph, the two cultists that tried to later sacrifice the body of Mr. Green. You see the whole, yeah, train ride from their perspective. You see how mm -hmm. they weaken the man but are surprised when he actually falls down so quickly. That he is hurt so badly that he dies. They weren't planning on this. They realized that someone else was involved looking for the culprit in the train for a while assuming it was you guys. But it wasn't. I think. Yeah. <laughs> and then it all goes as it happened before. Uh, they drag him to the or drive him to the last storage wagon. Henrietta stays there. Ralph Tinker runs away and jumps out of the train. Did he die? You can see what Ralph Tinker can see. A creature that is huge. It stands in the far at the horizon as Ralph Tinker jumps out and he can see it. Its size is comparable to those to that of the buildings next to it. It has three arms and four legs and wings the size of skyscrapers. Fay father. You can hear Ralph Tinker apologizing to it. I I am sorry, I I couldn't make the sacrifice that we needed. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you the strength that will be necessary in this war. We'll have to find, find other ways to wake up the others. The god doesn't respond, not in words at least. Ralph Tinker lands on the floor as he jumps out of the train. And stands up. His leg is turning the other way, but it's broken. However, the pain doesn't really pose a threat to him. N not really a problem, it seems. He doesn't feel the pain. He just follows the creature or the creature's silhouette the train was moving to bus uh, to denver's as uh, ralph tinker with the broken leg just decided to walk to walk in the direction of salem <laughs> and saying We have to wake up our gods to prepare for the fight against the ones that don't belong here. You were the, face, the first one to wake up, Pei Father. But many others will follow you. I will make sure of that. I know where to get the help. 
and I know where to strike our enemies. Do we get a picture of what he's thinking about his enemies? I will fight nothing. And you guys can see Salem, the town. It seems great. It seems very peaceful. Nothing to complain about with uh, the... Uh, with light to peace organization being so uh, prominent in the town the crime rates are super low the people are super happy you can see uh, workers or volunteers giving out free food for uh, for the hungry it's a peaceful town and in the middle of it is <coughs> Ralph Tinker walking around fighting nothing peace of course and yeah preparing to do something you know his goal or his the place where he's going the would like to hope or uh, would like the peace organization has their headquarters there. He is a hurt, crazy man, but you know that the allies or the ally on his side is not fake and the uh, real threat. It, it, his perspective. It is against the gods that don't belong here. And I'd say that's that's the dream. That was the dream. Yeah. You the rest of the night I mean that was at the at the end of the night and you wake up in the morning or midday. You needed a longer sleep. Are we in a uh, room together? Probably the apartment is not big enough to really be separated. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a house. Oh, it's a house. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's like a wrecked house, but it's it's. You, you, some of you were in the same room. Theodore was in a different room. Wouldn't want to sleep with Theodore in one yeah. room. No, definitely not. <laughs> Crazy guys. Crazy. You dreamed something too? <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't believe but I would tell you. Oh yeah, you were talking about the dream. I Then I got cut off. Uh, go ahead. So you had same dream like me like you and ralph who jumps out of the train saw something really big crazy 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 and then he just walks to salem with a broken leg respect to that pretty much the same Uh, the others, because I have a feeling this is not something all we to have in common. And we ask Theodore and the others. What would be more read is uh, the both saw the same because they weren't there. True, I mean, true, Theodore wasn't there and Lewis too. 
Uh, did we see uh, Arthur and I forgot his name. Like Michael? In, uh, the dream. Michael? They were there, but you, you saw them from the perspective of Ralph and and Henrietta, where, yeah, they were like background people that were suspects too. Raphael getting chased from Arthur. <laughs> That uh, we see uh, Louis, L Louis, mm -hmm. and um... you didn't see Louis and Theodore in the dream. Would you have seen them? Would they see have seen the dream? Mm. What Louis and uh, Theodore would have seen in the dream was a man with a broken leg uh, who saw a figure walking to Salem. You wouldn't yeah. have seen the jumping out of the train or the pre-story to that. Just the the two of you. Good point. Yeah, of course. They weren't there. Yeah, sadly, we had some death party members, casualties, and penalties, accidents. Oopsies. Oopsie doopsies. Oopsie shoochie. <laughs> well, then when we all have the same dream, we can all agree that we got it's getting all crazy and we should go straight to the asylum and just stay there or we believe all that we are still crazy. But we go to Salem because it seems there's didn't hear the last word. I think your cat cut off your microphone. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's like he wanted to fight against nothing. Nothing, obviously, is peace. So. Allied to peace, so the corporation there is the enemy from the Father cult. Kinda. Yeah. So, the first big event or the first big attack probably is in Salem. So, it would be maybe a good advice to go there. I mean, it's all. A foundation in a dream we all had so I wouldn't say it's really yeah it's solid fun. evidence you would hear uh, the voice of uh, Samuel Holt shout from another room he would drive in and on his lap he has like a yeah big plate uh-huh and no big, big tablet and on the tablet a few plates with like coffee and a uh, bit of bread biscuits and he would put it on the table and say uh, i guess you all had a weird dream as well oh, you're telling me you had the weird dream too well you said it yourselves. You've been a thorn in the eye of these existences for a while now. And you have interacted... I mean, at least two of you have interacted with uh, the Father cult pretty directly. And yesterday, we all together, after I almost made a bad decision, thank you for stopping me. By the way, uh, and yesterday we all found out what is behind these corporations and what they're doing. So, I guess it would make sense for an entity, I guess, like the Fae Father to reach out to us. But why? I mean... 
wouldn't he more have, I mean, beneficial to stop us too? Like, we are not like, we try to stop Raphael and the favor of the cult for, for the ritual, so we kind of are the enemies from every corporation. Why are you showing us that? Maybe the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Now you know there's bigger fish in the sea than the Fae Father called. To be exact, four bigger fish. I know that your experiences with Ralph Tinker, for example, weren't the greatest, but... They're trying to shoot me. And it let disappear a corpse from its crazy ritual. And I don't know what, she was really crazy. But, not gonna lie, we have nothing really to hold off, so I think the goal is the same now. We go where the Fae Father Cult wants us to go. Also, I don't like it. Looking at... Actually. Looking at it from... A very objective and not that moral point of view. The Pay Father cult or their two followers, what they have done so far is try to hurt you and try to uh, sacrifice somebody's body that they didn't plan on killing. Mm. What the other corporations are doing they have their roots and their influence and power and control everywhere. Not just Massachusetts, the whole world. I don't want to attack any entity or anything, but I believe the Fae Father is... Not really... Fightable? Not really what? No, fightable is like, we can't really fight a god. Yeah. And or a, a religion. Yeah, and he's also not really that big of a problem. Or threat. He sacrificed one person and tried to kill you. That was about that, it. That, I mean, it's a huge for me. I don't like to be killed. Yeah, but I believe that existences would do worse than that. Right now, the Fae right Father now. seems to be... Oh, well. Ally? <laughs> ally, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't call him ally, but he is kind of a... Passive enemy. <laughs> yeah, informations give a... I would... Yeah, they like that. Don't like to have a friend who is a otherworldly god. I know that makes it crazy. That sounds more crazy. I know. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, we do not have any goal currently. We know that the all corporations have the uh, stations like Bolton, Ackham. Mm hmm. And Salem seems, so when I don't like it, was it the first station we should maybe search for? Maybe it's the wrong choice. Maybe the dream just dreams at us, don't go to Salem. But we are all, don't know, it's all included. Crazy maniacs. I mean, we should go. Better now than later. Do you want to go too? Even when you... I mean... I can understand when you want to stay, but I would maybe suggest that you come with us. I believe I... have read enough books and uh, spent enough time in this house trying to figure everything out. I mean, uh, all alone giving this information and... I can understand why you did what you tried to did. Thankfully, we stopped you. 
Yeah. I will join you and try to help. The way it looks right now, if we don't get involved, it will turn out uh, to it will turn out turn into an all out fight between the seven existences and the Fey Father if the Fey Father remains the only one that's awake. As they called it. Like I said, we are crazy maniacs to do something like that. I feel like I'm in a fucking movie. I just came here to find my mother and search for... Whoa! Who would know that something like that happened, but... Do you need something? I think we try to get all together and go. Because of the feeling the time is following against us. You're right. They found yeah. a replacement for uh, M Mr. Green in, in a week. Yes. And changed the whole policy, basically. So... Yes, I don't think we have much more time. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So. How many cards do we have? I have one. My own. Louis. Uh, Louis I think it's only a. Is this a four seater yeah, or more of a four seater? Nice. I don't know how it's called in English, but I think it sounds right. Okay, then we have enough cars to drive us all to Salem. Yeah, I would avoid public transports. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you could take a train. That was my first idea. <laughs> That's my first experience with a train. Uh, -uh. Don't want to be included in an accident again. I mean, nothing like what could happen. With two cars. <laughs> uh, okay, we should go. You, yes. if you guys walk past the, uh, live, not living room, past the office of uh, Samuel, you would see that the wall that he has uh, built up is uh, not there anymore. He took everything down. And yeah, you would... Go outside and drive to Salem. I mean, I'm feeling that my character just losing his sanity altogether. Okay. Who is driving? Who is driving? I mean, Louis. I, I, I guess Louis, like, right? Uh, no, no, like, she won't no, uh, touch the steering wheel. <laughs> okay. Um, can Mr. I don't drive with Theodore. Samuel can drive. Okay, so uh, yeah, I will stay with Samuel and I think. Uh, Dakota will make sure uh, Theodore is in the same car with me. At least not be the same car with me. I would kill him, definitely. <laughs> okay. So the cars Wait, are uh, Louis and Dakota. And then Samuel. And th that's the first car. And then Samuel, uh, Patrick, and uh, Theodore are the, third, the, the second car. Jesus, I hope Theodore don't make him suicidal again. <laughs> yeah, always a danger. Way, you will uh, see Theodore on your windshield and you will have wiped him off. <laughs> Jeez. Oh no, I got shit on my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you drive for a while, actually. It takes it takes you the whole day actually and holy shit yeah it's it's a why it's a long drive and you arrive 
in Salem. And there will be... Yeah. Okay. It's in the evening. And you have... Uh, you're still on the street right now. At this point, I'd say you would be looking for a hotel probably. Or something. A place to stay for an, for the night at least. Probably uh, something near for the cooperation. Hmm? Something near like the industry uh, section of the city. Yeah, you can actually find because uh, Salem and so goody two shoes about helping people and everything. There's actually uh, even camps, so you can just save money and go into like camps for homeless people and yeah, people on the run and everything, just free food and everything, and in the lion's den basically, <laughs> right where you wanna go. Up to you. This is just choosing where you want to go. You don't end up there immediately. This is just planning. I would say be going to the hotel. I mean, I mean, my character is still a doctor. He have not really the highest standards, of course, but he wouldn't just take free food for for homeless people. He would feeling like he's stealing it from them. When he know he has the money to actually buy it by himself. Samuel would kind of look at you and say, Well, you are aware that it's our plan to take down this group. Yes, they are helping people, but their goal is not that. You is true, I give you that, definitely, but... That's, they still have. Uh, <laughs> they are helping. Kind of they're helping people. Like yeah. not all people are bad in a corporation who definitely is maybe evil. So some people just doesn't know or just like really a lot of people actually want to help and just joining this corporation doesn't make you evil Im immediately. Yeah. I hope. That, I, mean, I hope. Yeah, you, you're probably right. We. I'm with Dakota. We we should take down the bad parts of the establishment and not abuse the good ones, the good parts. I, I, I'm for the hotel. So Cutting, cutting off the head of the snake. Sorry? Cutting off the head of the snake. Yeah. What did you say, uh, Dakota? I just saying that, yeah. Just going to the hotel. Okay. Patrick? Yeah, he will go to the hotel too. Okay. Theodore's opinion is to spit in the food of the homeless people, but we're not gonna do that. Just that's... Very good. Patrick would kill him <laughs> on the spot. I would kill him yeah. so much. <laughs> okay. So, on your way to the hotel, uh, just on the streets, while driving, you have to stop uh, and wait because a man just got uh, into his black Ford Mustang and uh, from the street. He really takes his time to start driving. He is moving very slowly and extremely... Uh, like carelessly like he doesn't really care about his body it seems he wears a dark blue suit has black short hair average height and physique except for the bumps that can be seen under his coats uh, once carefully getting inside the car like he is hurt he slowly changes seats inside the car to be on the driver's seat and sitting here, uh, there, he adjusts his mirrors, uh, looks at the street behind him, and you, guys' car. <coughs> okay. 
Then he places his, his one hand on the side of his stomach and the other on his shoulder, after which he his joints snap back into place and the bumps under his coat disappear. He looks at his wrist's watch and after a few seconds of not moving, he finally starts driving. You guys keep driving as well and you can see the alleyway from which this man just left. You can see an alley that is dark and smoking. Inside of which or in the middle of the alley is a blown up car as well as about a dozen of corpses. <laughs> the man just left this place and drove off. You would see Samuel uh, quickly writing down the uh, license plate. I um, don't see that. I, did, did, did I see that? No, I'm just behind the car from Samuel. Yeah, but Samuel doesn't take that much time and you can see the scene. Yeah, All of you can oh, see yeah. the scene. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Corpses. Nice. Shit. Um, um, I would say, Louis, stop the car and I would go to the Allied immediately to the blown up car and uh, maybe corpses I'm a doctor and I need to save life uh, for, for your own sake the closer you get the more you realize uh, or the more your nose realizes the smell that is really horrible it's a mixture of uh, burnt gas and oil uh, from the car as well as burnt flesh and uh -huh. yeah smoke from guns or gunfire it is really disgusting as you get closer you have to use your whole hand or your whole arm to cover your nose and do you really want to get closer to the corpses or to the you, you assume it's corpses because they're yeah, either yeah, not you, moving or they don't yeah. have enough parts on them to still be living. Okay, well, when I see that, uh, as, of course, a doctor, I can see that there is no help anymore. So I'm not trying to pursue this location. I mean, we don't... <sighs> Do we see still the car from... The, uh, yeah, yeah. The... He just casually just drives uh, down the street. At some point, he takes a right turn. He doesn't seem in a hurry or anything. Okay, I'm asking. Lewis, what do we do? Should we drive... I, I, my belly... My, my heart screams. Don't follow him. But my brain says, follow him. Knowledge. Mm, I think the Patrick will uh, make his car or his uh, car mate stop. And he will, yeah, will uh, go after Dakota. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when he sees there's nothing to do, uh, no nothing where he can help Dakota, he will try to purchase the car. Uh, pursue it, mm -hmm. not chase. Pursue. pursue, pursue, yeah. Mm. Uh, what you can see because Dakota didn't want to look at the corpses. You don't have to make a roll. You can recognize, <clears throat> uh, not all of the corpses, but a few uh, look similar to something you've seen before. Something they they look like. Parts of their body have melted into the floor and have dissolved or have been abs absorbed. It reminds you of 
Mr. Green's uh, body back in the train on an attempted sacrifice. Here you can see a couple uh, sacrifices that have been followed through. But others look different. Some corpses have just been killed. Slit throats. Dismembered body parts. Just one guy get out of this alley calmly. Just normal day of life. And drives away. Yep. I mean, the whole thing screams to follow him and ask him out. But I'm also kind of honestly a threat to follow him. How many corpses are there? Like dozens? Like more than 10, 20, 30? Uh, there, there's definitely more than 10. If you really want a number, it would take a toll on you. You are a doctor, but this is a massacre. More than talism, yeah, it's a massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. If, if you really want to count, you, I would make you uh, have you make a sanity check because that's really not no, 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 sanity fine. Check, <laughs> My character is already insane slowly, so the whole situation doesn't help it. I mean, we don't want to include it to the police. We don't want to call the police right now. We are kind of want to destroy the biggest corporation in the city so it doesn't really would help us right now so our best goal would be to follow the big shady guy who it seems killed a dozen people massacred them and did a ritual and sacrificed them sounds crazy but yeah let's follow him <laughs> yeah let's follow him <laughs> Why not Fuck watch it. him? What's the worst? What can Fuck happen? <laughs> like, tell people, shoot bo the, a bomb who car is exploding and he just calmly glocks away without any scratch? What is the worst? What could happen? I mean, his his shoulder was dislocated. He just popped it back in. <laughs> true, 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 true. It does make it just more badass. <laughs> yeah, all. that guy's not, not good news. Uh, but yeah, do you no, follow I mean, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Why not, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Louis, <laughs> Louis, I would make you roll a driving uh, check to see how well you can follow him because it's been a while since he since he drove uh, past you guys. That would be enough. Easy. It's not great, but it's not bad. So, you uh, do manage to follow the car because, again, uh, he wasn't really driving fast. And he actually stops at uh, one of the shelters. Currently, it's giving uh, out, like, it's in the evening and it's giving out, like, its last... Uh, yeah, bowls of uh, food and soup to those in need. Or to those hungry, I guess. I just want to say, I have the really bad feeling. We choose the hotel. Now we're following the big shady guy who killed a dozen people. And now we are at a location where I personally don't want to go, be not because I want to, not abusing the help for people who don't have the money, but just to confront the corporation right now immediately, not just before we get actually some sleep and some information background. Now we are here in front of the corporation who they work, <laughs> together with a guy who's badass enough to locate his shoulders back in and kill a dozen of people without any scratch and just calmly walks away. Just a summary of what's currently happening. Threatening at all. You would see the guy just, yeah, parks his car uh, in the same street, uh, gets out, walks to the stand where people are getting the food and just stands in line and waits until he gets his bowl of soup.
Do you? Okay, a, does anyone die? I have a plan. Do you? I have a plan. Every mean we can stop the cars and getting out, but I can't tell the plan right now. I could um get a fuck okay, English word English um uh, this how it's called English ejection of course uh, eject some um. <laughs> <laughs> We can help you. Try to help you. I to I mean, I Ah, something to sub subdue him. Something to exactly. to stun him. Like, sh sh hidden. Drug him. Drug him. Yeah, exactly. Then call me. I'm the doctor. I can help him. I know what's happening to him. <laughs> and then trying to put him in our car drive him away where wherever we want to and then try to bind him when we can i don't know he locate his shoulders back i don't know how strong he is so we should be careful about that and then I ask him out that's my plan hmm. signal would ask do you have anything to Make him sleepy or stun him? I can him. my case, probably. I don't know. Do I have some drugs? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I've got a shit ton of guns in the bed. Dakota would have to, like, look up a bit, but you would probably find it. And Louis, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I can't Tiny make specialty. It. Here's the grenade launch. <laughs> It puts him it will sleep make him sleep long. <laughs> Very I mean, effective. If he doesn't sleep after a grenade launcher, I would be really... Yeah. Don't know. Wait, did you just say a blow dart who uses this in a, in a uh, 20th century? <laughs> okay, do we do that? I, I, I'm open to other plans because this is really radical what we're doing here. We're currently trying to drug another guy we don't know. In the location where everybody can see us, drag him away, put him into the car, and kind of um, yeah, a escort him. I have the bad feeling yeah. we maybe know him. Well, well. Oh, it, you mean it, it's the big guy in the train? Oh no! Oh no! You could I roll bet. for. Spot hidden. Well, it, to it, maybe recognize him. Not not you, Louis. You wouldn't know him. I mean, you wouldn't even know anyone that could that I this could be. Twenty-five. Do you have something better? <laughs> no. I roll. Uh, it took some time. I yeah. Actually, it's lagged a little bit. But you can yeah, see. It happens. No. <gasps> Patrick, you have your theory and you uh, really take a good look at this guy and he's a stranger to you. You oh, have not so seen bad. him before. Oh man, it would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, another plan. Tell me. We can also confront him in front of all the people, but I have a feeling it doesn't get well. But Did hey. you just kill those dozen people? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, <laughs> hey uh, friend. I have some questions. I'm shy. Don't ask me in public. <laughs> what way you can drug him, and I would be very proud of you if you're able to do it. If you don't, then well, I don't know you. I mean, other yeah, that'd be a problem. <laughs> when, when we don't, when we drug drug him, and if something happens, yeah, the, I, probably the guy who tried to drug him is dead or is in danger. <laughs> Samuel would say, I could do it. I'm a guy in no, a wheelchair. Yeah. Like if if this guy has any any form of remorse or or humanity, which actually I'm not so sure he has I could have the best no, 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 cover up. <laughs> he wouldn't be feeling threatened about someone who is in a wheelchair. I would say. Yeah, I mean, I, I, 
I do have the advantage in, in, in that way. Can uh, we see that he has the skills to drug him in the shadows? You can ask him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, can you drug him in the shadows? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could, I could yeah. put something in the in the food bowl. It's almost empty. He he's the last one in line. I'm sure if I ask him if I can maybe skip uh, ahead of him, and I poison the little bit that's left of the of the whatever they're giving away the soup. You know. Uh, would I have some like drugs that would, you could spike, use to spike food? Yeah, you would have like a powder that. Christ, it's... Bruce, what do you have? <laughs> do you have a fucking labor in your car? Louis, like, okay, so this is my poisoner's supplies. Here's my drug kit. <laughs> I just go to the back of the car. Okay, these are the guns. These are the... Grenade the letter, not, not today, that's... Uh, the the uh, explosives, the drugs. That's better. <laughs> um, that better today. <laughs> was this the sleeping powder or was this the acid powder? <laughs> or was this my cooking kit? I <laughs> I could roll for chemistry or fantasy. What? <laughs> this is my shotgun. This is my acid. And this is, is it poison? No, it's just my salt. <laughs> oh, that's is pepper. I use it often. <laughs> Hold on, try to use this directly behind it. That's poison. It killed you uh, it me. It could, <laughs> looks the same, but don't could, could could I like quickly make something that you could also use to like poke someone with to drug them? Inject them? I would mm. basically I, I would say it's plan B when Sam is plan A uh, plan uh, A oh, or do you have there losing yeah, clear injection? Gonna check your skills if you have something fitting. Firearms, art, craft. Mechanical repair. Uh, do you have? Are you good in mechanical repair? I have a thirteen. <laughs> uh, you could use <coughs> disguise. Okay. I'd allow you to use disguise. Ah, but not now. I mean, okay, we're not gonna count this roll. <laughs> because, uh, wait, I gotta think about it. Mm. No, we we can count this roll. You make it. You you make it look very, uh, yeah, undistinguishable. Um, not really noticeable. What what's the weapon like? Uh, it's like it's not it's not training strongly. Uh, but a little bit, yeah. And it's pretty dark by now. Like the picture that you can see right now, uh, kind of like that. Uh, could I, like, put, what's it called? Uh, put a syringe in an umbrella, like the, you know, the pointy part of the umbrella? With an extreme success, yeah. Perfect. I'll hide, so I'll hide it in there so you just have to, like, poke him with the umbrella. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> So just accidentally, just accidentally like, <laughs> him in, like, the leg, right? Okay. So, Samuel Holt I'll would ask, uh, so, I'll okay, it, how are we I'll, doing it? I'll give it to Dakota, the umbrella. Wait, what? I'm not doing this. <laughs> what do we do? Do you know him? He could just kill more than 10 people. Oh my, my, God, I... my job is just to assist you guys. I mean, I would call that plan B. Not getting and trouble. I would say we try to first Samuel's cool plan A. He tries with the wheelchair, put it in the food, and then he eats, and then he falls down, and then, oh, here I'm saver. And you guys can distract him, right? So I can put the f stuff in the food better. Right? Okay, Louis, uh, Louis can't do that. <laughs> have woman power to distract a man. I, 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 I have an idea. Oh, no. Okay. J just give me a bit. Please don't bread. make something stupid. We gonna dress as a hooker? To... No. <laughs> okay. I mean, pa Patrick could just 
rapple in and I'm, oh, excuse me? Excuse you. Yeah, maybe don't physically try to assault yeah, him. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling that's not a really good idea, true. Yeah, kind of. Okay, Louis, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Samuel uh, would start getting out of the car. One, one second, I just have to update. I, I, I just like, I, I'd let everyone leave the car and like park the car. Maybe I would also kind of try to, I mean, we would probably look different for all the other guys. A bit. Is there a... a like a bank, something I can sit on. Yeah, you can see uh, see a bench. Yeah, yeah I'd go to sit on the bench and try, try, read a book. I probably okay. It's it's night and uh, raining. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> your poor book. <laughs> Don't act suspicious. I'm a Pulls out the book <laughs> at night <laughs> with rain. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe it was not a good idea. I'm <laughs> holding <laughs> off. I'm sitting on the bench. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's it. Okay. <laughs> he just sits down. <laughs> I'm just sitting on the bench. I'm, I'm... How many people are there? Uh, in line, there's still uh. The the man with the let's just call him the man with the coat and two people in front of him. That are supposed to get to still get food, and uh, the a fourth person uh, that's giving out the food. Okay, so it's bad. Oh, okay. And uh, Samuel that now drives uh, closer. Uh, Louis would uh, come like from around the corner where she parked the car uh, completely different wig completely different dress Should, do i throw uh throw this guy's off nah you 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 you're good at that okay and you had time like it wasn't very last minute so yeah uh does the guy have an umbrella no damn it <laughs> He's pretty soaking wet, actually. Okay, uh, is, is he at the back of the queue or? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, then I would walk over with the umbrella to him and tip him on the shoulder. Howdy there, hon. Is this the, is this the place I could get food? Not sure there's much left. Oh, that's good. I have to watch out my figure. It's dreadful weather, isn't it, today? Could be better. Here, do you want to share the umbrella? It's big enough for both of us. He would look at you and you can see that this guy is... It is in his late 40s. He has a very rough face, uh, not really a beard. He just hasn't hasn't shaven in a in a few days, and his eyes look empty. They you couldn't really say an eye color that he has because they look so bleached out, so soulless. And he just takes a slight step back uh, in the same moment when he says, uh, sees Samuel and says, Oof, I'd love to. Thank you. And of course, go, go ahead, he says to the man in the wheelchair. Wait, what, what 
what, what, what just happened again? So he he yeah. let uh, Samuel uh, go ahead, and oh, cool. then he uh, took a step back under your umbrella. Hmm? Uh, you offered him an umbrella. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's under the umbrella. Okay. Yeah. Plan I is sold Samuel drug the food. Yeah. And okay. uh, one person goes away from the line, so there's only one more person before Samuel gets there. You can hear the uh, person that gives out the food say, Well, the last four of you are gonna get like half a portion. I'm sorry, but we don't have that much more. The man in the coat says, I'm fine as long as I get something to eat. Oh, no problem, Mary. Samuel says, I never eat much. That, that'll be fine. And it's his <laughs> turn and he has to roll 100 sided dice. Uh, he only a 5 or a 10. I fucking roll the day. No, no, he's he's not that bad, but he's not that good either. Uh, thing is, uh, Louis, do you try to further distract the man? Uh, yes. Um, how would there be a possibility how I could stealthily break the heel of my high heels? Explain to me how. Uh, would there be like a like? What's it called? Um, like a side of the road where yeah, it like, goes like down a, a bit. Gap, like, a, like a gap in the bricks where I could just like, yeah easily stick my stick my high heels and then just like break it off and then yeah. pretend to trip over. That you can do, yeah. yeah. You don't have to roll for that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> you don't have to roll for that. You can do that. That's great. Uh, Lou would suddenly like fall towards. Uh, uh, what was his name again? He never introduced himself. Oh, we never had, we had no name. Um, uh, and fall, fall towards the man and drop the umbrella. Wait, oh, I'm gonna. Uh, as you, no, as as your uh, heel breaks or as you break your heel and you fall, you. This is sadly a role not for Samuel. This is a role for. The coated man, as he reacts immediately, and you move maybe five centimeters before he immediately reaches out and uh, grabs your shoulder and uh, just fixes your posture with the other hand catching the umbrella. He just reacted extremely fast and hands you your umbrella. Jesus, I want to fight him, Jesus Christ. And now <laughs> Samuel's roll. That's great, and he also gets a bonus, uh, bonus die. Okay. Yeah, same effect. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> Thirty. That that's a success for Samuel. He he had a forty, uh, as a challenge. Yeah, I, I I would also like use him on like, oh, gosh damn it, my heel broke. You should be more careful. It's pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous these days. <laughs> Never know who you met. Okay, then uh, Samuel keeps uh, moving and driving along. The uh, rest of you, Dakota and Patrick, you probably too, uh, you saw how uh, Samuel managed to do it. He also paid attention that the, the coated man looked away and the person giving out the food, but the person giving out the food was already super tired, so they didn't pay that much attention. As uh, Samuel empties out a little bag of uh, yeah chemicals that uh, Louis handed him and yeah poisons the food then he gets oh, his God, own I plate I, and I hope, it was, I hope it was a sleeping pot not a cyanide <laughs> <laughs> kill him I, I already have a feeling it does, it's not enough to knock him out also. straight up steroids <laughs> just making him pop it up more Okay, and then uh, he, uh, yeah, 
goes up to the station, gets his bowl, and uh, hands you the other bowl, Louis. The rest of the food. And I know it's only sleeping powder what's inside, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Do I, how fast does the poison work? <laughs> Pretty fast. Really fast. I mean, you, you would have a, cup, a couple minutes. Maybe maximum of two, three minutes. From your expertise. If, if it works. Um, since, my heel is, since my heel is broken while he uh, grabs it to me, I would uh, take off my shoes and uh, look at him. Oh, could you be a dear? My, my car is just parked around the corner. I would just quickly want to get some new shoes. But walking around with one heel is not that easy. I mean, this rainy day, of course. Of course. He, uh, yeah, walks with you. And wait, just, just for the sake of it. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't eat anything from the soup yet. Damn it. <laughs> I eat mm. shit. Okay, well, it's bad. It's... It was a 50-50 chance. <laughs> we have a plan B already, so don't worry. I mean, he does follow you. What do you do? I mean, I can watch what he's doing, but you can yeah. just switch your uh, shoes. Shoes. Yeah, I, I, I just go to my car and then like. Just open. pretend to be that to kind of maybe he is e actually eating. Maybe you can invite him to eat with you here. He follows uh, you and puts like your food on top of your car. Uh, Leans against who, it. Who, who, who's still at the car? No one. Okay, so Dakota got out on the bench, and uh, the Patrick was Patrick was in your car, yeah. That's true. Tell me, Patrick. Patrick, what do you do in the car? You you can see them approaching before they approach, before they're there. What do you do? I would try to hide. <laughs> Okay, roll for. Is there hide? There is hide, right? There must I be. Like uh, Let's see. Uh, never really used uh, it. Uh, it's, it's just stealth. It's just stealth. Stealth, yeah. Uh, roll for stealth. You have advantage uh, or you have a bonus die because you have time. Oh, fuck. That's great. Today is your day. Today is your day. I'm feeling okay. it. So you just. Uh, yeah. Can, can I. Would I be able to see him? <laughs> uh, no, you would have to actively look. Okay. That might be suspicious. So, yeah. up to you. <laughs> oh, don't, don't jinx it. You're like, <laughs> you there? <laughs> still there. And, uh, he's still not eating it. <laughs> Patrick, you would feel, uh, or you would hear <clears throat> the people approaching. Uh, as the man puts the bowl on the car and then leans against the car, you can feel the weight. He's not that heavy, but My yeah. <laughs> and then he just no, yeah. We'll just get some of her. She probably has a few shoes and stuff in the back of the car. I need oh. a trunk. <laughs> what are you doing in Salem? And he takes a sip from his soup. I'm just visiting an old friend of mine. Hmm. Planning to stay for a while? About two or three weeks. Maybe you should leave sooner. Oh, am I that appalling? Well, it's not the safest town. I, I know, my friend recently got into a car accident. It was a dreadful affair. 
Yeah, might happen to anyone. Please don't make any assumptions about a car exploding. Please, I know it. Don't, <laughs> I do don't, it don't, don't, don't touch my car. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have a gun hidden somewhere. I will shoot him if you bring. <laughs> In your heels. <laughs> I have the really bad feeling it doesn't really stop him when you shoot him. <laughs> Is he eating? Yeah. I would, I would eat. He already eat started. Him. Yeah. Perfect. Don't bow then. <laughs> Come on, do some small talk before he's. I mean, do you, you still have the umbrella hidden with the injection? So well, when he. The he man. <laughs> the man would like. Do you? Mm -hmm. The man no, would no. like. Okay, good. <laughs> he would like uh, look to the side and uh, lean over to like get the soup and stumble a little bit. He would like. <clears throat> cough a little bit and fake. Are you okay, dearie? Uh, yeah, just wanted to <clears throat> hand you your your soup, and he just gives it to you. I will take the soup. I will take the soup. <laughs> I take the soup, and I will eat the soup. He takes another I mean, spoonful. I'm and... walking, I'm staying up from a bench and tr trying to slowly go to the car too. Okay. I mean, it's, I have yeah. a feeling it's on the other side of the street, so I currently can't see what's happening. S uh, Louis, you would ask. Uh, he would ask you, what, what's your name? Oh, my name's Annabelle. What friend are you visiting, Annabelle? He would uh, place his hand like under his coat, slowly. You would see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you probably oh I have a big friend. <laughs> His name is George McAllister. What does he do? Uh, he does some accounting. It's it's not very interesting what he does. He likes to speak around about uh, random bank accounts and stuff like that. I never really pay attention. But he can handle his whiskey very good. You're in a very dangerous town, Annabelle, and he, you can see him pulling out something out of his coat, and as soon as he tries, gotta make a save. That's a fumble. Wow. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the first 100, I think. That's what, yeah, that may be the first. That's no, I, I, great. Uh, it's exactly. great play. I've also fumbled once in the train. <laughs> oh, true, true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was <laughs> nice. Oopsie doopsie. And he uh, <laughs> says, it's a very dangerous town you're in, Annabelle. Tries to pull something out of his coat. And with the same motion of his hand, he just leans forward and face first uh lands on the floor and what you can see you in his hand uh, a gun. A gun? But, but he didn't damage my car by falling again. No, he fell, he fumbled, he fell in the other direction. Otherwise he would just fall on the car and it destroy it, it explodes. It just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a creeper. <laughs> Would just, just bend down and uh, take the gun and hold the umbrella like. I would what suggest would... to inject him another doses just right no, away. No, no, I'm just holding it like around if he like starts to like move again. So yeah, yeah. Just, inject just inject him. the other injection right away into him. Dakota, you said you're you're moving there. You're you're pretty much there. You're pretty much there. Like I'm pretty much there. Okay, I have I have a question. 
how strong is the drug? Because if you, I overdose him, he dies. He, I mean, he, you should know. <laughs> you you wouldn't have overdosed him. You know that because uh, the amount of soup drug ratio wasn't high enough. Uh, he but didn't he, eat enough, and he is probably too big of a dude and too strong of a dude to overdose on something like that. So if I inject him, it would just like strengthen the effect. Uh, Dakota, you could roll on uh, medicine to f yeah, assess yeah, the situation yeah. better. That dude can probably take a take a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> then I poke him in the back while I'm looking at the gun. Is it a good gun? <laughs> yes. Ooh. Patrick will slowly open the car door. Uh... Hmm. Seems like it uh, worked uh, out well. Wouldn't have said. Shh, don't say that. Don't <laughs> curse that, please. <laughs> I have a really, really bad feeling still. We should cough him immediately. I should have some of those in my car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can hear uh, police sirens. Well, well, I did have a, I had I did have a police uniform. Okay, so okay. Multiple cars driving into the car. driving away. You can hear them getting closer and then uh, further away, as they're probably a few streets yeah, further. And you can think. you can see Samuel uh, coming to you, uh, hanging up the phone uh, that he let lent from a thingy from. Theodore and saying, well, at least this way we'll have a clear path and someone should take care of, you know what? Yes, yes, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Well, yeah. well boys, put him in the car. I pull him into the car. Sir, uh, proceeding. I will help. I'm I, I would not help. <laughs> Actually, I would uh, ask for another doses and sits right behind him. So I can always check his poop pills, his um, mm -hmm. just to be confirmed that he's still unconscious. He still just don't wake up or try to pretend to be unconscious, not just to surprise us and kill us all. Okay. Yes. So you okay. drive back. Uh, you drive to the hotel. Uh, no, no. Oh, I you know, don't know where we. Want yeah, you, to you, you. Put him in the oh, car. Can, I, mean, I mean, we can kind of pretend to be in the hotel and say, oh, hello, man, he just drunk too much and he is feeling a little bit dizzy. So we can go to the hotel room and then just ask him nicely out. But for now, you're just in the car and Dakota, you're next to the guy. Yes. Okay. Kind of, he's kind of romantically, his head is on my lap and I'm always confirming he's not a, uh, unconscious. Because I'm kind of, <laughs> yeah, I would say afraid for, from this guy. Well, let's make it worse. Uh, as you're oh, there, yeah. <laughs> uh, sitting next to him, you check his vitals and everything constantly. Uh, at some point, he's just sitting there and you can, it takes you a while to notice. Because you, you don't look at him all the time. Uh, no. But at some point when you just... Maybe you just watch, uh, look out the window. You see him s sitting up straight, looking directly at you with his eyes open. And you can see inside his pupils or inside his eyes uh, a bright yellow light. Wait, that was Dakota. <laughs> he just... Well, here... Um... He just looks at you. Be driving on me. Do you I'm say driving? anything? Do you do anything? Yeah, you're, you're driving. Okay. I'm honestly, I would probably just be surprised that she just sat up and staring at me and probably be a little bit on shock and just holding the ejection in my right hand probably take I would have to say around 10 or 5 seconds 
you would hear a voice yes that is not his he does open his mouth but he's not moving his lips it's more like he's functioning as a speaker mm -hmm. his mouth just opens and you can hear a eerie echoing voice that says you came I could use your help. Oh. You can use this puppet as you like, but don't mess with him too much. He's easy to freak out. Yeah, I... Yes? And then the mouth just closes the yellow light from the eyes fade and he's he just the body just goes back into being knocked out okay well that's i can tell my children um i believe see that? uh in the car with you would be Dakota, uh, not Dakota, uh, well, Dakota, of course, and uh, also you're in the car of Samuel, but also oh. Theodore would hear it. And actually, that's where I will end the session today. Which, <laughs> I, I, oh, Jesus, I was feeling it. <laughs> Excited to introduce this character. Finally. Oh no! This was yeah. part of my job description. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, uh, let's do a feedback round. If you guys still have time. Yes. Okay. Anyone wanna go first? I I can. I obviously thank you for keeping and it was at first, of course, a lot of informations to come again back up what's actually happening and where we are currently in and what's is our goal. But I think I like the dream section where we got shot, just shown where we should go. I assumed something like that would happen. Of course, not like dreamy dream, but more like briefcases. But I like that, that it, it got more and more otherworldly. Like we just touching more and more the occult stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, in a few other sessions we had, it was already like something else occultish is happening. But now we had like, we had the dream. We had a, a guy who was just soloing t more than 10 people, a car exploding, shooting, and he seems not to have any scratches. And then the scary yellow eye puppet thingy stuff. Yeah, I just want to say I'm really impressed and I can just I can just get more. When I would have a book I would probably have it already written. That's cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Give the feedback round to someone else. Yes. Take it. Okay. <laughs> Somewhat. <Yeah>. Good job. <laughs> Good throw. Good catch. Yeah was a lot of information to uh, swallow and it was really great uh, but I think I have to re-watch uh, this episode because it was so much and mm. I don't think I uh, the catch all uh, but uh, still it was uh, cool and yeah I really look forward for the next session because uh, I think uh, with the next sessions all dots will be uh, connected more and more and yeah pretty excited thanks for keeping thanks for playing and yeah I give it to Dean uh, yeah I also thought it was a good session um, I wasn't able to say that much at the beginning since Louis 
hardly knew anything herself since she just met the mm-hmm. guys that day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's mostly her getting the rundown, which she tried to get uh, on the car drive. Um, but now I like uh, playing with my disguise kit around. Yeah, it's super cool. And it's uh, it really super cool. Like, you're uh, just uh, truck M- station M- in the car. MVP and... of this session, the trunk of my car. <laughs> <laughs> it has everything. It has clothes, it has guns, it has drugs. I hope you do a character, just don't immediately die again. <laughs> I have really a feeling I'm dying today. <laughs> like, as soon as Louis dies, you open the truck of the car, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Louis is an elderly being. <laughs> like, that'd be so funny, like, one day you have, like, a flat tire. Louis, do you have anything to change the tire? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> Do I look like a heavy? I, I, I'm just waiting for the session where it'll be like, okay, we need like a pla- like a place to disguise ourselves as like random travelers. <laughs> I have a circus tent in the back. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we can start our tour tomorrow. <laughs> like yeah. a massive tent. Like the, the t- <laughs> you guys need an elephant? <laughs> a trunk of holding. That's what you have in your. That's your car. The trunk of holding. <laughs> Uh, yes, but no, I like playing uh, Louis. I wonder how our lawyer friend will be next time he's there. Mm. Uh, but yeah, um, other than that, thanks for keeping, and I will give you. Okay. Uh, I'm very happy that you guys liked it. Uh, in the beginning, there was a lot of, yeah, explaining and info dump. But as Basti said, that will the dots will connect, and especially it will you you will, I mean, if it goes according to plan, you will see how it's important, and uh, once that happens, the information will just become common sense. So it will just be like, oh yeah, that is like that because that and that just makes uh, total sense. So yeah, but. The second part of uh, the episode was then less information, more action, which I found very interesting. I like uh, describing and putting you guys in very obscure situations where you are super overwhelmed in the beginning and something totally disturbing happened and now okay now what how do we react now and then you had this uh yeah super interesting problem solving situation of okay we have we want to question him how do we do this and then you figured out how to uh, do that everyone had their part you made a plan you made a second plan you all thought you're gonna die very call of cthulhu like uh, I think that went very well. Could have gone much worse. <laughs> I really thought it would be. Uh, I think it's very cool that you took Samuel with you because he can be useful. He is pretty smart and he knows people and how to get to information. And he was useful. Like... I mean, he connected the stuff with the, all the uh, nothing, uh, limbo, everything, and how the yeah. words are describing the collaborations and stuff. But he wouldn't so have like... done it without you. Like, he didn't have the, 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 the Yeah, the exactly. Thingy. You're just cooperating together, and I have a feeling it's really nice to have the NPC <laughs> who have some knowledge, so we can already have already. So, just someone who we can ask. Yeah. And he's not. I don't know. He, he's nice. He has yeah. uh, good intentions. He totally agreed instantly to kidnap a guy who's just killed a lot of people. He didn't just agree. So, he's like, I might do the the the, the first step. <laughs> yeah, the important stuff. I drug the food for innocent people. Yeah. <laughs> I also loved. Uh, I love when Louis like. Uh, the, the clothes changing, the disguising, uh, the 
a useful car. It seems maybe OP, but also at the same point, like, that's just an obstacle that doesn't really have to be an obstacle to get the stuff itself. You yeah. managed to put it in the umbrella. That was a skill check. You uh, had Samuel who managed to put it in the food. That was like, I I don't want to get hung up on getting the material to do cool stuff. Like, I, I don't, I wouldn't see the point of saying, nah, you, you can't drug him because that's that was a good idea and it was a cool idea and it isn't that unrealistic that louis would have such a thing thing if she didn't dakota probably would like something to sedate someone like you're a doctor you probably had yeah, something like, other than that we would have probably just anything else yeah or the idea yeah, to and we're especially in a time where drug use was quite common with yeah like, kind of so as as someone who works with the mafia, I have this. <laughs> yeah, and you had enough red flags telling you to not fight this guy. So, <laughs> of course, you had to come up with a better plan than that. And you did. And it worked out great. I'm excited to see how you do uh, next session yeah. and how you Fresh. deal with everything the the ending with dakota and the 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 yellow eyes and the speaker mouth yeah i, I don't know i always imagine it as as a, f a movie or tv show and that would be such a messed up scary scene after I, being successful and then the thing, thank you, you watch, uh, the movie the thing no. Sad. It, uh, it's about some otherworldly alien creature who can disguise themselves for other humans. And when their disguise fell off, they just get otherworldly and their mouths are oh, no, it's scre just screaming and it's so Ooh, that's, that's otherworldly. Cool. I, I just imagined like that. That's why I was, remember the scene and I just was my character will frozen up and do nothing. Mm, that makes sense. Uh, I'm very excited to continue. Because for now, the info dump is over. You can still go into the library and find out more details. But uh, to understand details, you first have to understand the overarching stuff. And to do that, you uh, just have to do stuff now. And... If you, if I show you and don't tell you, that's better, basically. And you have a lot of stuff in front of you. Now, Salem, new town, you know, a basic, basically, you now have a quest. You know, uh, technically, where to go and what to do. Not exactly how, but that's to figure out. And I believe that you guys can do it. That's the fun part. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh... Thanks for playing, thanks for watching, and this was episode 10. See you guys hopefully soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.